Behold, the lemon. <laughs> it was an easy one, eh? Douglas, maybe we of should... Of course, just... you haven't found it yet, Martin. What? I'll hide it for you. If you find it, you can keep it. Game over. And no new game? No new game. Promise you won't hide it anywhere near or on Nancy. Damn. <laughs> All right. And it'll be in plain sight? Of course. That is the most sacred and fundamental law of the travelling lemon. <laughs> All right. Hello. Uh, hello. Uh, we didn't meet properly. I I'm Arthur. I'm the steward and bear expert. Uh, for instance, the sloth bear eats half its own body weight every month. I'm a little busy with these forms. Oh, you should do what I do. Don't do them. <laughs> Listen, I, I was just wondering, are all your experts on your crew, or do you have guest lecturers? Yes, sometimes. Right, because I just know an awful lot about bears at the moment. Uh, <laughs> so if you ever need to, you'd borrow me. Well, you'd, you'd have to sort it out with Mum, but I I'm sure it would be OK. Thank you for your offer. I'll bear that in mind. Bear! Where? No, no. He said, bear that in mind. Like a bear. <laughs> oh, I might put that in my lecture. Well, there's always weddings. I met all three of my wives at weddings. Really? Hmm, of course. The third one I met at my wedding. <laughs> Which was a trifle awkward. Yes, I imagine it would be. Yeah, my second marriage wasn't my favourite. Polar bears! Look! On the ground! Of all places. <laughs> Excellent. Right, bears, let's see what you've got. Douglas, I don't think... Douglas, we don't have the altitude. Oh, we've got plenty of altitude. We don't, we're treetop level already. Ah, but you're forgetting no trees in the Arctic. That gives us at least another 30 foot. No, it does Oh, you think you can get away that way, do you, Paddington? No! <laughs> Douglas, you'll stall it! No, I won't. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. I can't enjoy it if you're going to kill us all. Don't exaggerate. Aha! Uh -huh. ah! Let's be having you then, Winnie. Douglas, I have control! No, you don't. Ooh, Baloo at ten o'clock. <laughs> Douglas, please, please, stop! You're going to kill us all, please! You'll kill us all! Oh, fine. <sighs> Honestly, what a fuss. Oh. <sighs> Gentlemen. There you go. We gave them a bit of a show, didn't we? Oh, yes. Who wants a drink? Really? You seem quite anti the idea just now. Yes, well, I have perked up somewhat since then. And anyway, for goodness sake, Goddard's obviously not going to call. It's an hour before dusk. After 28 days of silence, he's forgotten about us. Except he's guaranteed to call if we have a drink. I thought it was water. That's the beauty of vodka. <laughs> Colourless, odourless. Proof that God loves pilots. <laughs> or at least the Russians do. <laughs> a, a, a dance to the music of tears. Oh, 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 James Bond, James Bond. Um, the man with the golden goo. <laughs> Goldfinch. <laughs> Octopus! Octopus? That's just octopus. Yes? Oh, please, someone save me from this. Not you, though. Who is it? Anonymous caller. The Hound of the Baskerville. <laughs> I've taken the S off. Almost good. Certainly better than when you took the S off the mill on the floss to make the mill on the floss. I can bloody well fly as well as any fly. Of course. <laughs> I'm perfectly qualified to fly this plane alone. Yes, but Goddard doesn't know that. He's hired two pilots. He's expecting a captain. Well, we could always... Oh, no. Well, what else can we do? Oh, no. Arthur? Yep. Arthur Shappy? You're up. <laughs> Good evening. This is your captain speaking. Captain Martin Creed speaking. I shall be captaining the plane as your captain this evening. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs>